Let's go on the baseline. Our defense is the nuts and bolts of what we do. And Coach Cardoza preaches that. Go! She also wants to keep up our defensive intensity, and in practice, we work a lot on defense. Good. If we don't allow teams to do what they want to do, they have no chance. All the coaches, they really do stress ball pressure. Sometimes it's a little difficult. Playing um, hard-nosed defense and ball pressure for an entire game is very difficult. It's tiring. We have to like do more than one thing on defense. We have to be able to sprint, close out, and still contain them. Like, they don't want to hear no excuses. Our guards just really get after it. So it's just taking pride in your individual defensive performance. And I think ultimately that helps us as a defensive team. It takes a lot of time. You know, defense is not easy. Just sit down and get in a stance is something that's really difficult for any player. So it's a learning process. It takes at least a year or two. When you're guarding someone, you're doing a good job, you do stand up like this, and that's when they call the foul. It starts with our defense, and it showed in the way that we've been playing, and we've really bought into it. We know every night the one thing we can always go in, play hard, and control the tempo with our defense. They're really keen in on trying to pay attention to the little things. And, you know, throughout our practice, I would probably say like 40% of the time is focused on the defensive end. So because of that, it's carried over to the games. Now as she comes, come out here and guard her this way. Keep her along this line, not like this, because now you're giving her the lane to the middle. And they love and they bought into Coach Cardoza's system about love and defense. We pressure the basketball. We want to take away their best offensive players from getting X amount of touches. So it's really based on, on pressuring the basketball in a half-court setting. If X1 was a defender and, and O is your offensive player, you know, picking their ball handler up at half-court, okay? And the wing player, hard deny on the wings. One of the things that we do is we switch a lot. And it's important just because, you know, a lot of teams that, especially in this league, when they're going to set screens, they usually use their post players. So, you know, that person coming off okay, a staggered okay. or a double screen is usually going to be open. When she has the ball and she makes that pass, you have to be the guy because Chris can't come because this guy's a better three-point shooter than number three. Okay. We are able to switch every single thing. So defensively, that, that can be intimidating when you're playing against an opponent that really, they're not accustomed to that because when you switch, you're able to get right in the passing lanes. Because of our athleticism, we can switch a lot on defense. Good. Good so let's say that's offensive player three and offensive player two, and here's offensive player one. X2 defender, X3 defender. If there's movement here, we would switch which means that we can take away the passing lane. And we're very good at that. When we're scouting opponents, we look and see what they like to do and how they like to get into their offensive sets. She's gonna get it here, look to fake here, dribble once, and look to hook you. So let's not get beat on that move. When we're going over it, we'll see that maybe we're not able to defend it in a certain way. So if we take the pass away, then we don't have to worry about defending it. The plan is to make sure that number five doesn't get anything. So we're switching everything one through four. So we got to make sure that when we switch, we're jumping out there and we don't let her even shoot the ball. That we're up on her crowder and making her go left. Coach preaches in practice all the time that we need to pressure the ball, stay in the passing lanes. We work a lot on defensive intensity, which makes it easier to create our own offense and get steals and push the ball down the floor. We do have a tough defense mentality. Like We do defense all the time in practice, at least 45 minutes to an hour, and it's like hardcore. We do a lot of like one-on-one -on -one um, defensive drills. One on one. Stop. Good. Good. Keep going. Good, Tasha. Good, Tasha. Tasha, go get it. We compete against each other, so we don't take it easy with each other because in the game it's not going to be like that. Good. Get there. Get there. All the way out. All the way out. Good. 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 Get there. Get there. Good. When they're get going there. at each other, it's not just trying to get through it. It's, I'm going to give you my best offense to see if you can stop it, and it's made us that much better. We all work together as a group, and we try to do the best of our abilities to defend and defense wins games. As they go and trap, Shay's going to get that, and then, again, you're dropping back, and Quita's stepping up. Good. See the ball, Shay. Good. A lot of times you've, you'll see players where they just go through the motions and try to just get through it. Well, right now on the defensive end, they're not just trying to get through it, they're trying to actually get better. I think their mindset is getting stops. We go hard on defense. We love still. We love stopping their best player. We just 
going to practice and going to the game. Like, we're not going to win this game. We don't play defense. There are certain players who pride themselves on that, like Shay. She's leading the A-10s and stills, actually. I like stealing the ball from people, like, ripping it from them, getting in the passing lane, doing whatever. I think it's just like, you feel good about yourself when you get a steal. Like, I just shut you down, I'm gonna score now. Right now, the way that we're playing, I think they're rewarded by what they do on the defensive end. If they're able to shut their guy down, or, you know, if we're playing against a, a guy that's averaging about 16 points, if you're holding her to well under that, I think that is what, you know, they're thriving off. If you look at our, our statistics in the conference, we're like number one in a lot of things defensively. We hold people to like 45 points a game. At St. Bonaventure's, which was a good offensive team, we held the 38 points. Um, we held another team that scored, you know, in the 70s to 50. Get a drink. And then holding teams to under 35% shooting. Like that, that's key in trying to win any game. If you can play defense like that and hold your opponents and then shoot, you know, in the 40s, you have a good shot at winning.